Should we go see how this guy's getting on with his chess? He doesn't have anyone to play with. That's why he's doing so badly. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Uh, I thought you wanted to talk about chess. Well, Never mind. I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. What did you call me? You can't just go around calling people whatever you called me. Jeez. Go to Mortimer's study. Where? Where on earth was Mortimer's study? Oh, God. Mortimer's study? Is it his office? Maybe it's on the third floor. Let's try that. We can only hope. Okay, here's some upstairs. Yes, it's letting me go. Okay. Is this the right place? So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? It is. I like that this is um called his office on the map, but apparently it is the study. Uh, is it this big painting? Or is it this horse? Or is it these dates? Let's take a closer look. Yes, let's. Um, do I need to know that? And it cost one, fine. These chocolates are probably a protocol gift. Everybody in Europe loves them nowadays. Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France, has her own personal chocolate maker at Versailles. They say it's her guilty little morning ritual before getting dressed. A cup with one sugar and some vanilla, if I remember rightly. I would be surprised if Mortimer has them delivered straight from South America. Let's have a chocolate. Chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Okay, great. Ah, great, it's in my inventory. I can really so snoop what we here. Got here. It looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Books? Three books? The book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. No free books. Was there another book over here? Nope. I, I, I thought it was the painting. I thought he said something about behind his desk. The Nightmare Painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by Go Beyond. <laughs> it just falls on his head. Looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. That is a massive painting. Jeez. Ooh. Take those two. Just take everything. Fine. Hmm. Might come in handy. Hey, you never know. I don't know what they are. They might be poisonous. You probably wouldn't have them just hanging around, I guess. Uh, haha. Figured it would be at his desk. He looks so shocked it worked. Oh no, a lock. Aha, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A, a ring lock. lock now? Great, that's all I needed. Oh god, how am I supposed to know? Looks like there's a marker on number one on the second roller. Oh, okay. So does that mean this has to be one? Oh god, please, Louis. Okay. Find the code. So it must be here somewhere. Something with a one is the, the second. I guess. That's the second number. Now, what have we got here? You know what we've got it here, you like fool. A model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Bird. 
Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. A minor bird. Tell me the door code. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a try. Sarah Deriche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Have some berries. Tell me the door code. Let's give him some chocolate as well. Here I am talking to a bird. Shame on me. You might die. Yes, I did think that might happen. It looks like I've killed him. <laughs> Shit. I better not hang around. God, Louis, you piece of shit. Why would you do such a thing? Sorry, Waldo. <laughs> Louis murders Waldo. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, here we go. I couldn't examine this before. This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. Um, God, what is this code? Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Arson. <laughs> um. Okay. Right now, I need to just look a second. Oof. No idea. Maybe there's something in there. Golden elixir. Going. Oh, a coin. Aha! The glowy book. Numbers? Oh, God. Many families kept documents of their history, but I've never seen anything like this before. Such regularity in writing them up through the generations for such a long time. First time I've ever seen that. Mortimer gives considerable importance to his origins. That's undeniable. Oh, the family tree. Oh, boy. Let's see. All Mortimer's ancestors are called William something Mortimer. That happens a lot in noble families, but here it's systematic. Not a single generation ever breaks the custom. Looks like this family is very attached to their principles. Like, episode two seems to be structured very differently from the first one. Episode two is like, you have to find out this information, but here's so much useless information that's just kind of there to throw you off the, the track. Like, it was the same with that puzzle from the last video. Um, like, trying to find the right verse in the Bible and stuff. And now this, it's like trying to find the code, but every dialogue option has like five other ones. Lord William Alexander Mortimer, lover of the arts and the sciences, he took up politics at an early age. After rapidly becoming influential, he decides to retire from public life in order to organize conferences reserved for the elite with the aim of finding answers to world problems. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 you're telling He's me, Louis, Jesus. Son, and the book doesn't mention any known descendant. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> Okie dokie, the chest would have... Uh, <laughs> there's actually nothing about the, um... About this combination. In, um... In that book. Whereas it? It's here. I don't even think there's a clue here. Unless this is it. No, the, the, the solution for this is Zeus. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Which is not what I would have guessed. I would never have thought, oh yes, yeah, so I'll go for whatever word starts with Z. Oh, got ember fragments. Just weird. Um, examine the nails. Examine a book. And I haven't gone through yet. So... Combination needs to go beyond the nightmare can be found on either of the paintings behind the birdcage. Okay. A 
painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. Siege of Saint Jean d'Acre. It was a major conflict during the Third Crusade. Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus fought to take the town back. It was the Crusaders' first operation to take back the Kingdom of Jerusalem. <laughs> the only way to find the code is to do this thing with with five skill points? I I don't know. Why would I have like picked that over anything else? to try and find the combination. Oh god, this is going to be awkward, isn't it? Well, luckily there's a lot of wands. And there. 1191. Go. Jeez. I think I'm going to be doing most of the game with this walkthrough now. <laughs> Because this is just very different from the whole first episode. Oh my god, we got Diagon Alley'd in here. Wow. Nice secret room. Okay, we've seen it. <laughs> we've, we've really seen it. Get on with it. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Indeed. Uh, a letter from Job, John Ad Job Adams. Nice. More letters. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Giham Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition. No, we're not listening to that. Gives in. Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. On it, Mortimer's placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Could he be fueling Indian resistance to slow down Spain? What is the story of this game? <laughs> is there a story in this game? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not honestly convinced there is. Oh. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. She's hiding in a statue. I've got it. Harambe, he's figured it out. There's a lot of letters here. Oh, yoink. It's locked. Oh, okay. Thanks, Louis. Oh, what's going on in here, though? Oh. Preservation using formaldehyde. A brain. Just as disgusting as ever. Book. Nice. Something strange about this table. I can't do that. The Little Surgeon's Perfect Collection. Oh, okay. I am too dumb to understand that. Or this. Looks like obsidian or onyx. Must weigh a ton. Great. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. A skeleton. By the name of Gustav, if the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Oh, but Gustav's skeleton's here. Letter. Right. Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Yoink. Yoink. So he's got. Ooh, a natural key. A chest with a motif representing the up Can I open this one? Fire. I mean, it's like you need 20,000 keys. Oh, I don't have another one. Damn it. Why am I missing all these keys? Am I seeing things, or is that an actual Von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. 
Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even if the order, it took us ages to get one of those. I think we figured that out by now. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Yeah, me too. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. He's a witch. We figured it out. It is a typical draw in a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance. That announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, a chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Neat. Uh, I think that's everything in here. I think once we're done, we just we just leave. Go right back out this way. Oh shit! How am I gonna get out of here now? Um, I assume you put like the opposite, so like we have to make sure that this is like one, like right to left is one one nine one. So one so. How many times do I have to go around? Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I have to make that. That. Um. What was it? One, one, nine, one. Please just look at the right thing, Louie, you fucking asshole. God, Louie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got it. Uh, this one's actually a four. <laughs> Is that it? I think that's it. This looks like the same mechanism as Oh, you one son of a bitch, Louis. I said pull the fucking lever. No, lower it. Oh, god damn it. it. Looks like the same as the one on the other side. Hooray! Did it. We're out. And nobody even knows I killed that bird. Excellent. Sorry, bird. Well, we better not dwell on it then. Then, then not dwell on what? <laughs> Find out the origin of the sword left by your mother. Okay. I was like, is that the only guidance you're giving me? Uh, I did poison Waldo. Great. What do I want to be leveling up now? I need one more there. Do one and I can finish off something else. Um, what well, I need three. Let's do that one. There. Do I have any books left to read? Just that one. Next quest.